everybody i hope that you are all doing great and fine today we are going to see a vocabulary lesson concerning unit 8 about a very important topic which is brain drain what i want you to do now dear students is to look at the picture attentively try to concentrate and guess what do you think brain drain means So, what do we mean by brain drain? Brain drain is the immigration of highly skilled or highly qualified people from their own country to another country, looking for what? Looking for better conditions. This is what we mean by brain drain exactly. As we have seen, dear students, brain drain is a real problem and a real issue that so many countries are facing and it has a lot of causes so what do you think are the causes of brain drain here dear students you can pause the video you can grab a pen and a paper and try to list some of the causes of brain drain well this issue of brain drain has so many causes but we are going to mention some of the causes Please, dear students, try to pay attention to the pronunciation. Social instability, conflicts, corruption, bad living standards, low salary, social injustice. Well, to repeat, again, try to listen attentively and you can repeat after me if you want. Social instability, conflicts, corruption, bad living standards, low salary, and social injustice. Those intellectual, highly qualified, and highly skilled people, when they leave their countries, they leave it usually because it is developing countries. They leave it towards developed countries. And you can see the difference between the two when you look at the pictures. Developing countries on the left, developed countries on the right. In this case, developing countries becomes sending countries, or in Arabic, dual mursila, and developed countries becomes receiving countries, or in Arabic, dual mustaqbila, because it receives those skillful people, those intellectual, highly qualified people, and make use of their knowledge, of their skills, of their qualifications for its own benefits. But what makes those receiving countries better? Well, for so many reasons. For example, freedom of speech, investment, human resources, good income, research facilities, political stability, life conditions, better pay, etc. Those are just some of the reasons why those receiving countries become better for those highly qualified persons who choose to leave their own countries. Well, dear students, I'm going to repeat those reasons. Uh, try to listen attentively and pay attention to the pronunciation. Freedom of speech, investment, human resources, good income, research facilities, political stability, life conditions, and better pay. Here we come to some practice. It is a fill in the gaps exercise or imla il farag in Arabic. So the question here is fill in the gaps with the right words. And we have here a list of words, but to be honest, not all the words in this list are mentioned before in this presentation. So what you have to do is to look them up by yourself. Well, the list of words is developing skillet, conditions, drain, flight, salaries, home, developed, qualified. You have three sentences with some gaps in those sentences, so try to put the right word in the right gap. Good luck with that. Here we come, dear students, to the end of this lesson. I hope that you have understood it very well and you have enjoyed it as well. Have a nice day and take care.